Hey everybody, Scott Tetweather here, back with another Capture One Quick Tips 2 minute video. Today we're going to talk about the Base Characteristics tab, which can be found under this handy little lens icon. This deceptively simple dialog offers you a lot of options when it comes to how you want the RAW interpreter to work with your images. By default, you see I have my Sony A7R Mark III here, and I have the generic profile. I can apply any of these different curves, auto being the default, extra shadow, which I find more interesting, contrast, film, and linear response. Linear response is when no curve is applied to the raw data that comes from your camera. This can show you what the true image looks like. This is oftentimes a better point of departure if you're looking to do something for film or to incorporate into film. My favorite here is the film extra shadow. It adds a little bit less contrast in the shadow area, and I feel I can work with it better later, and if I want more contrast, I can always add it. Remember, once you leave RAW and go into Photoshop, it's very difficult to manipulate light the same way you can when you're dealing with the raw data. Sometimes you'll see the engine offers an upgrade. This is Capture One's way of saying that the RAW interpreter has an upgrade available. If you want to, just click the Upgrade button. It will warn you, and then click Upgrade, and you're done. Up at the top, you also have a little menu here for creating presets, but more importantly, the ellipsis menu allows you to save this as the default for your camera. One more interesting thing is under the ICC profile, you can also use Show All. This allows you to use camera profiles for any camera available. So if you're missing your Oompa Loompa type of orange skin from a Canon, you can always grab it here. <laughs> yeah, that was a joke. This also allows you to use other ICC profiles that are more of effects than they are actual color corrections to the camera raw data. This is as close as Capture One comes to using LUTs. If you'd like to copy these settings to more than one image in a Capture One session or catalog, you can select one image, shift click on any other group of images, and then at the top you'll see this dialog here. What you typically do here is hold down shift and click this, and it will make sure that the settings are copied from here to here. As an alternative, if you have one image selected, you can go up here and click on this icon, which will copy the settings from your primary variant, click on the alternative, and this will copy them down. It will also warn you if there's any major things like engine upgrades that need to be done. So that's another Capture One 2-Minute video. Let me know if you like this series. I'll keep it going. Now give it a thumbs up if you would, please, and subscribe if you'd like to see more.